In computability theory, a busy beaver is a Turing machine that attains the maximum number of steps performed, or maximum number of non-blank symbols finally on the tape, among all Turing machines in a certain class. The Turing machines in this class must meet certain design specifications and are required to eventually halt after being started with a blank tape. A busy beaver function quantifies these upper limits on a given measure, and is a non-computable function. In fact, a busy beaver function can be shown to grow faster asymptotically than does any computable function. The concept was first introduced by Tiber Rada Cubed as the Busy Beaver Game in his 1962 paper, on non-computable functions. The Busy Beaver Game, the end-state Busy Beaver Game, introduced in Tiber Rada Cubed's 1962 paper, involves a class of Turing machines, each member of which is required to meet the following design specifications, the machine has n operational states plus a halt state, where n is a positive integer, and one of the n states is distinguished as the starting state. Typically, the states are labeled by 1, 2, n, with state 1 as the starting state, or by a, b, c, with state a as the starting state. The machine uses a single two-way infinite tape. The tape alphabet is 0, 1, with 0 serving as the blank symbol. The machine's transition function takes two inputs. The current non-halt state, the symbol in the current tape cell, and produces three outputs, a symbol to write over the one in the current tape cell, a direction to move, and, a state to transition into. The transition function may be seen as a finite table of five tuples, each of the form, current state, current symbol, symbol to write, direction of shift, next state. Running the machine consists of starting in the starting state, with the current tape cell being any cell of a blank tape, and then iterating the transition function until the halt state is entered. If, and only if, the machine eventually halts, then the number of ones finally remaining on the tape is called the machine's score. The end state busy beaver game is a contest to find such an end state Turing machine having the largest possible score a euro the largest number of ones on its tape after halting. A machine that attains the largest possible score among all end state Turing machines is called an end state busy beaver, and a machine whose score is merely the highest so far attained is called a champion end state machine. Rada cubed required that each machine entered in the contest be accompanied by a statement of the exact number of steps it takes to reach the halt state, thus allowing the score of each entry to be verified by running the machine for the stated number of steps. The busy beaver function I pound, the busy beaver function, I pound n and n, is defined such that I pound, n, is the maximum attainable score among all halting two symbol and state Turing machines of the above described type when started on a blank tape. It is clear that I pound is a well-defined function, for every n, there are at most finitely many n state Turing machines as above, up to isomorphism, hence at most finitely many possible running times. This infinite sequence I pound is the busy beaver function, and any n state 2 symbol Turing machine m for which I florin, m, equals I pound, n, is called a busy beaver. Note that for each n, there exist at least two end state busy beavers. Non computability of I pound, Rada cubed S 1962 paper proved that if F, A A A is any computable function, then I pound, N, F, N, for all sufficiently large N, and hence that I pound is not a computable function. Moreover, this implies that it is undecidable by a general algorithm whether an arbitrary Turing machine is a busy beaver, even though I pound, N, is an uncomputable function, there are some small n for which it is possible to obtain its values and prove that they are correct. It is not hard to show that I pound, 0, equals 0, I pound, 1, equals 1, I pound, 2, equals 4, and with progressively more difficulty it can be shown that I pound, 3, equals 6 and I pound, 4, equals 13. I pound, n has not yet been determined for any instance of n greater than 4, although lower bounds have been established. I pound, complexity and unprovability, a variant of Kolmogorov complexity is defined as follows, C. F. Boulos, Burgess and Jeffrey, 2007, 
the complexity of a number n is the smallest number of states needed for a BB class Turing machine that halts with a single block of n consecutive ones on an initially blank tape. The corresponding variant of Chaitin's incompleteness theorem states that, in the context of a given axiomatic system for the natural numbers, there exists a number k such that no specific number can be proved to have complexity greater than k, and hence that no specific upper bound can be proven for i pound, k, were proved. As mentioned in the cited reference, for any axiomatic system of ordinary mathematics the least value k for which this is true is far less than 10 a a 10. Consequently, in the context of ordinary mathematics, neither the value nor any upper bound of i pound, 10 a a 10, can be proven. Equals n, and there are infinitely many true but unprovable sentences of the form i pound, 10 a a 10, 1,036,534 already requires special patent-based acceleration to be able to simulate to completion. Likewise, we know that is a gigantic number. Thus, even if we knew, say, s, 30, it is completely unreasonable to run any machine that number of steps. There is not enough computational capacity in the known universe to have performed even s, 6, operations directly. Proof for uncomputability of s, n, and i pound, n, suppose that s, n, is a computable function and let evil s denote a tm, evaluating s, n. Given a tape with n ones it will produce s, n, ones on the tape and then halt. Let clean denote a Turing machine cleaning the sequence of ones initially written on the tape. Let double denote a Turing machine evaluating function n plus n. Given a tape with n ones it will produce two n ones on the tape and then halt. Let us create the composition double evil s clean and let n o be the number of states of this machine. Let create n o denote a Turing machine creating n o ones on an initially blank tape. This machine may be constructed in a trivial manner to of NO states. Let N denote the sum NO plus NO. Let bad S denote the composition create NO double level S clean. Notice that this machine has N states. Starting with an initially blank tape it first creates a sequence of NO ones and then doubles it, producing a sequence of N ones. Then bad S will produce S, N, ones on tape and at last it will clear all ones and then halt. But the phase of cleaning will continue at least s, n, steps, so the time of working of bad s is strictly greater than s, n, which contradicts to the definition of the function s, n. The uncomputability of i pound, n, may be proved in a similar way. In the above proof, one must exchange the machine evil s with evali pound and clean with increment, a simple tm searching for a first zero on the tape and replacing it with one. The uncomputability of s, n, can also be established by reference to the blank tape halting problem. The blank tape halting problem is the problem of deciding for any Turing machine whether or not it will halt when started on an empty tape. The blank tape halting problem is equivalent to the standard halting problem and so it is also uncomputable. If s, n, was computable, then we could solve the blank tape halting problem simply by running any given Turing machine with n states for s, n, steps. If it has still not halted, it never will. So, since the blank tape halting problem is not computable, it follows that s, n, must likewise be uncomputable. Examples These are tables of rules for the Turing machines that generate i pound, 1, and s, 1, i pound, 2, and s, 2, i pound, 3, i pound, 4, and s, 4, and the best known lower bound for i pound, 5, and s, 5, and i pound, 6, and s, 6. In the tables, columns represent the current state and rows represent the current symbol read from the tape. Each table entry is a string of three characters, indicating the symbol to write onto the tape, the direction to move, and the new state. The halt state is shown as H. Each machine begins in state A with an infinite tape that contains all zeros. Thus, the initial symbol read from the tape is a zero. Result key, result 001000, result 00111100, result 
0011111100. Unlike the previous machines, this one is a busy beaver only for I pound, but not for S. Equals 21. Result. 00101111111111111100. Result. 4098-1S with 8191-0S interspersed in 47,176,870 steps. Result. A per mil 3.515-er, 1,018,267-1S in a per mil 7.412-er, 1,036,534 steps. Exact values and lower bounds for some S, N, M, and I pound, N, M. The following table lists the exact values and some known lower bounds for S, N, M, and I pound, N, M, for the generalized busy beaver problems. Known exact values are shown as plain integers and known lower bounds are preceded by a greater than or equal to symbol. Note, entries listed as are bounded from below by the maximum of all entries to left and above. These machines either haven't been investigated or were subsequently surpassed by a machine preceding them. The Turing machines that achieve these values are available on both Heino Marxens and Pascal Michel's web pages. Each of these websites also contains some analysis of the Turing machines and references to the proofs of the exact values. Values of S, N, M. Values of I pound, N, M. See also, Termit. Notes, Skelet lists 42 unproven machines. However, other busy beaver hunters have different sets of machines. Chayat in 1987, Lloyd 2001. Computational Capacity of the Universe. References. External links, the page of Heino Markson, who, with Jar 1 quarter or G.E.N. Buntrock, found the above-mentioned records for a 5 and 6 state Turing machine. Pascal Michel's historical survey of busy beaver results which also contains best results and some analysis. Definition of the class RTM, reversal Turing machines, simple and strong subclass of the TMs. The Millennium Attack at the Rensselaer RAIR Lab on the Busy Beaver Problem. This effort found several new records and established several values for the quadruple formalization. Daniel Briggs' website and forum for solving the five-state, two-symbol busy beaver problem, based on Skelet non-regular machines list. Aronson, Scott, who can name the biggest number. Wellstein, Eric W., Busy Beaver, Math World. Busy Beaver by Hector Zenel, Wolfram Demonstrations Project. Busy Beaver Turing Machines, Computerfill.